Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at some of the most important Power BI scenario based interview questions and their answers. So let us go to scenario number one. Generally this question is related to sync slicer. When you sync a slicer, it, the question is always from one page to another. But the interviewer uh, and I believe this was from TCS where it was asked that you know how can you sync the slicers on the same page. Although this does not actually have any real life scenarios because we obviously have one slicer per page but this can be a tricky question uh, asked by the interviewer to you where they want to assess how good you are with the sync slicer you know uh, features and whether you know all the advanced options or not so we'll go ahead with scenario one and we'll try to explain what is the sync slicer options in detail and how can you sync the slicer on the same page so for that i'll just copy the first slicer which is country so in this particular slicer i am having all the countries uh, and obviously you'll be having the distinct countries listed in the slicer uh, now what happens in sync slicer generally is once you go ahead and copy this slicer and go to its different page and if you paste this right it asks you whether you need to sync the slicer or not so generally if you want to sync the slicer we do a sync right once you click on this sync option uh, let us see what happens you go to view and you enable this sync slicer pane so if you go to the same page which is this particular scenario one page right and the page that we have created right now is page one so you have to select your particular slicer and there are two buttons at the top look uh, carefully at the top right over here so one which is visible button if you actually go ahead and you know uh, uncheck this the slicer won't be visible in the page right so this is the visibility button the other is the sync button so before you copied it this was this option was not available right so it, it was not synced but since you have synced it with page one right even if you go to page one and go ahead and select this slicer you see uh, for page one this particular slicer is now synced and it is visible right so this option is uh, there when you go ahead and sync the slicer on a different page but now the question that the interview is asking you is how can you sync the slicer on the same page right so on the same page if i go ahead and select and by the way for the sake of simplicity i have given a table over here uh, which is containing the country column so we know exactly what's happening so by default a slicer will always whenever you choose a uh, particular value from a slicer it will filter everything whatever is there uh, on the page right until unless you apply special filters like uh, visual level filters or stuff like that so what happens is if i go ahead and select canada simply the table gets filtered for canada also a slicer is able to uh, slice the other slicer that means if you go ahead and see the blue uh, sync slicer thing that i've given at the bottom you'll find only canada over here why because this slicer is also able to slice the other slicer that is available on the page right so don't get confused now if i go ahead and uh, actually uh, you know clear the selection on the first slicer you will see all the other options are also available on the uh, next slicer so the main thing that the interviewer wants over here is if you go ahead and select canada let's say canada should appear in over here right instead of all if i go ahead and select let's say france then instead of all over here France should automatically get appeared now if I go to page one you see France will be selected in page one so this is what he wants but the only difference is he wants it in the same page instead of two different pages so to enable this functionality what you have to do is you have to go ahead and select the first slicer right and there is something known as advanced options and if you read over here it says enter a group name to sync selections to any other visuals with the group name right so by default let's say I give a group name as country one right so what it will do is it will create a grouping right and it will sync this uh, and there is two options sync field changes to other slicers and sync filter changes to other slicers so by default i'll keep this as on both this now i have to select the second slicer which is the blue thing now I will go ahead and give the same name that I have given uh, the uh, uh, same group name that I have given for the first slicer so I'll copy the group name I'll go to the second slicer and I will actually paste the same group name right so by default both these options will be selected now 
what will happen is once you select let's say France on the first slicer automatically France is also being selected on the second slicer and if you go to the second slicer and if you choose let's say Mexico right so you see Mexico is also being selected in the first slicer so this is a very small scenario it does not have a very real life implication but anyways nowadays uh, interviewers are asking these questions a lot how can you sync slicers on the same page so this is how you're going to uh, you know address the issue that is using the advanced grouping option under sync slicer tab so i hope you guys are dead clear with this so let's go ahead to the second scenario now the second scenario that we are having is we are actually having a particular table over here called country wise sales and don't worry i'll be giving the pbix file at the bottom of this uh, uh, tutorial so you can go ahead practice with this so so just concentrate on your screen and see whatever thing i'm telling you okay so under the scenario 2 you are having a let's say a particular table uh, and the first column over there is country and you are having australia france india uk and us the other three columns that you are seeing okay is hardware sales for that country furniture sales for that country and software sales for the country now what is the requirement the requirement is apart from these three you have to create a particular measure which always returns the first non-blank value for that particular row so if you consider australia the first non-blank row is eight so this will return eight if you consider france the first non-blank value is seven so it will return seven if you consider india it returns 10 and if you consider uk it returns seven similarly us right so i hope you are clear uh, with the question that is how can you return the first non-blank value from each row right so let us go ahead and see what uh, what function i have created what particular measure i have written for this okay to achieve this we are using a particular dax function called coalesce uh, what does coalesce do it returns the first argument that does not evaluate to a blank value or a non-blank value argument it will return right and if all the arguments event evaluate to blank you will get a blank that is if everything is blank you will get a blank okay so you just have to uh, those who are familiar with sql we also have a similar function called coalesce in sql as well right so what we will do is basically we will go ahead and write this coalesce function and within this we will give the first argument as hardware sales column the second as furniture sales column and the third as software sales column right so these are the three arguments that we will pass inside coalesce and very easily you will be able to uh, write this particular measure where you will get uh, the first non-blank value always right so this is fine now going to the third scenario the interviewer will take this particular question to a different level and i think this was asked in deloitte so what they uh, asked the candidate because it was a you know a on screen sort of interview but they asked the candidate for scenario three where you know they will change the column ordering we will just copy paste the visual from uh, scenario 2 page to scenario 3 page nothing i have changed now what is the ask is uh, you see the first row it is always going to return 8 right so what happens if i go ahead and bring the furniture sales at the uh, at the beginning so go, let's go ahead and bring the furniture sales at the beginning right see the interviewer will tell now the furniture sales is at the beginning followed by hardware and software but your measure that you have created is still returning eight right which which was not the ask which was not the ask so over here why are you getting eight and not getting 11 okay this will be the question so for that what you have to do is just simply change the order of the uh, of the measure right because over here it's evaluating the hardware sales first so now i have to make furniture sales as my first uh, argument right instead of hardware sales so what i'll do i'll just go ahead and copy paste the furniture sales followed by the hardware sales and at last will be my software sales which should match with the ordering of the visual right now let us see at the measure two right so see 11 is the first 
thing for furniture which is why you are getting 11 on the first row, 7, 10 on the second, third, fourth is 6 and the last is 9. So hope you are also clear with the sec uh, third scenario. Okay, now let us go ahead and do a fourth scenario. So in the fourth scenario we have got two tables. Okay, let me go ahead in the data pen and show you those two tables. One is called as financials all. It has four countries uh, which is Germany, US, France and Canada and I have got my financials two which has just got two countries which is Germany and France. Now the ask is you have to return those countries which are only present in financials all. So how we can do that? So there are two ways of solving this problem. One is via edit query. So we will go to power query editor. So let us go to edit query. Right. And you must have heard about merging, right? So we will go to merge queries as new. For our first table, it is financials all. So we will let it remain as financials all. And for the second table, we will choose financials too, right? So very simply, we are having all the four countries in the first table. We are having only two countries in the uh, in the bottom table, right? So if you see the kind of options that we have, we all know what is left after join, what is right after join. The left after join will give you everything from the left table. Uh, full outer join, inner join. Now look at these two options, left anti and right anti. Right, and this question is being asked a lot nowadays. Uh, this was asked in PwC, right? So, so what does it do? So, it will give you a hint over here. Look at this. Left anti is the rows only present in the first table. Exactly what the interviewer requires from you. What, are, which is, do, what are those countries which are only present in the, uh, in the left table? Right, the top table will be treated as the left table. Now. I will go ahead and select the first country because you have to specify based on what column you are going to join, right? So merging is uh, so so. What we will do is we'll just go ahead and uh, do it for based on the uh, the join will be based on country. Now, I I have selected left. Uh, I have selected. I'm from here. I'll select the left anti, which is rows only in the first. So ideally, it should return me USA and Canada, which is only present in the left table, right? So I'll do an OK. And see, we are getting USA and Canada, exactly what was needed. Uh, for this financials too, you can go ahead and do a right click and remove. Right, so you have got the exact table and this is the answer using join. Right, now as I told you, we will we'll be looking at two different methods to solve the same uh, problem. So this is done using uh, Power Query Editor, but we will also try to do this using DAX and it's a very simple uh, function called accept that we will be using. So let us go ahead and click on new table. Under the new table, we will write the DAX called accept. Right? And it says returns the rows of the left side table which do not appear on the right side table. That is, in short, it is telling that give me those rows which are only present on the left table. So I'll left table I'll specify as financial source. This is very important, guys. So which uh, be very careful about what you're giving on your left table and the right table. So on the right table I'll give financials two, right? And I'll simply press on enter, and you'll see the same result that you have got. Right, so if you if you go ahead and see the merge one, it is exactly the same as your new table that you have created. Right, so these were all the scenarios that I wanted to discuss with you guys, and um, these are very important scenarios because these are asked in uh, a few of them are being asked in multiple companies. And guys, if you are liking my videos, do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments related to these scenarios, do let me know. And let me know what are the questions that interviewer are asking in your interviews so that we can help each other and help build this community together. Thank you so much for your valuable time as always and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.